Ever wondered what the universe looks like from a single point, with no length, width or height? This speculative thought, a question that has provoked the curiosity of many scientists, philosophers and even everyday individuals throughout the ages. A singular point, one might ask, how can this be? It's a concept so abstract, so incredibly mind-bending, that it's almost impossible to visualise. A point, in its simplest form, is a location in space. It doesn't have a size or a shape, it's just there, a mere marker in the vast expanse of the cosmos. But what if that point was everything? But what if that point was everything? What if all the stars and galaxies, all the planets and moons, all the matter and energy, all the space and time were compressed into that one single point? Imagine, if you can, this single infinitesimal point. It's there in the middle of nothingness, containing within itself the entirety of the universe. From this perspective, the universe isn't large or small, infinite or finite. It simply is. It is a paradox, a contradiction that challenges our understanding of reality. As we delve deeper into this concept, it becomes a philosophical question as much question as much as a scientific one. What does it mean to be? What is existence? These questions, like the point we've been imagining, have no length, no width, no height. They are immeasurable, unquantifiable. They exist beyond the realm of physical dimensions. They are the silent whisper of existence. This silent whisper, it is unassuming and yet incredibly powerful. It is a subtle vibration, a soft hum, an undetectable murmur that permeates the universe. It's the hidden energy that the invisible thread that connects everything. It's the cosmic glue that binds the universe, that gives it structure, that gives it form. It's this silent whisper that paves the way for the intricate dance of dimensions. This dance, it's a marvel to behold. It's the harmonious interplay of length, width and height. It's the ballet of the galaxies, the waltz of the stars, the tango of the planets. It's a cosmic choreography that's constantly in motion, an eternal ballet that never ends. What's even more fascinating is that this dance isn't method to the madness, a rhythm to the chaos. It's an ordered disorder, a structured randomness, a chaotic harmony. It's governed by the laws of physics, the rules of the universe. It's the cosmic symphony that plays the music of the spheres. It's this dance, this intricate interplay of dimensions that forms the universe as we know it. It's not just a collection of random points scattered across the expanse of space. It's a cohesive whole, a unified entity, a well-orchestrated symphony of cosmic proportions. So there you have it, a glimpse into it's a perspective that challenges our understanding, that pushes the boundaries of our imagination, that inspires wonder and awe. It's a journey into the heart of existence, a voyage into the depths of the cosmos. It's a cosmic odyssey that begins and ends at the same point. A journey that takes us back to where we started, back to the silent whisper of existence, the unassuming yet powerful entity that paves the way for the intricate dance of dimensions that forms the, from a point, we extend to a line, a seemingly simple yet profoundly complex concept. It's a concept that transcends the boundaries of human understanding and takes us into the realm of the abstract, the theoretical, the infinitely intriguing. Think about it, a single point, a solitary dot, is the premise of everything. It is the epitome of singularity and the precursor to a line. It signifies nothingness and everything simultaneously. Just by merely existing, it serves as a representation of the potential for expansion, the possibility of moving from the singular to the many, from nothing to something from the singular to the many, from nothing to something beyond our comprehension. And then we delve into the world of lines. A line in its simplest form is an extension of a point. But when we really stop to ponder upon it, it's so much more than that. A line is a universe in its own right. It's a universe that's infinitely long, but infinitely thin. It's akin to the concept squeezed into a space that's as thin as a razor's edge. This is where we witness the paradox of infinity, where forever exists within the boundaries of the finite. The line, although two-dimensional, signifies one dimension. It's a representation of duality, the dual nature of existence itself. It is at once an entity in itself of points, each point holding its own universe within. A line is a pathway, a journey that never ends. It's a concept that's both liberating and daunting. Liberating because it allows us to visualize the concept of infinity and daunting because it challenges our understanding of the finite. We find ourselves standing at the precipice of these two contrasting concepts, caught in the flux between the finite and the infinite. 
the line also holds a mirrored image of our own existence. Just as we are a collection of cells, each holding its own universe within, a line is a collection of points, each holding an infinite and infinite universe within its boundaries. It's a concept that forces us to question our understanding of existence, our perception of reality, and our place within this cosmic dance. If we further extend the line into a plane, we venture into the world dimensions. But for now, let us marvel at the profound implications of the line. Let us explore the universe that exists within this infinitely long yet infinitely thin entity. Let's dive deep into the infinite possibilities that lie within the confines of the entirety of its implications. But we can certainly marvel at its profound complexity and its elegant simplicity. We can appreciate the beauty of this paradoxical entity, this enigmatic concept, and the infinite universe it holds within. So you see, it's not just a line, it's an idea. It's a concept, it's... Imagine living in a world that's flat as a sheet of paper. Picture it, no curves, no spacious valleys, no mountain peaks reaching for the skies, just a simple, straightforward existence. This is not a world of limitations, but one of simplicity, a place where things are what they appear to be without the complexity of depth. Think of the beauty of a painting, a sketch, a drawing on a canvas. Without depth, they are just strokes of color on a flat surface, yet they captivate us. They tell stories, they evoke emotions, they are emotions. They are proof that depth isn't always required to make something beautiful. In this world, there are no stairs to climb, endurance. There are no deep bodies of water to be feared, no towering buildings to induce vertigo. It is a world where fear of heights does not exist, of space spreading widely around. In this second dimension, we would exist in a realm that is length and width personified. We wouldn't experience all the sky above our heads. Our reality would be a straight line from one point to another. We wouldn't need bridges to cross rivers or tunnels to get through mountains. All we would need is, all we would need is a path that goes straight ahead. Does it sound limiting? Maybe to us who are used to the concept of a three-dimensional, the simplicity. The uncomplicated nature of living in a space where you don't have to worry about what's behind or in front of you. Everything is on the same level. Every direction is either straight ahead or an infinite sprawling expanse of space stretching out endlessly in all directions. You could journey for miles and miles, yet never ascend or descend. It would be like living on an endless horizon, forever chasing for those who crave the adrenaline rush of skydiving or the tranquility of swimming deep underwater. But for those who value simplicity, who find beauty in the uncomplicated, this world would be paradise. The second dimension would also be a world of perfect proportions. Since everything exists on the same flat plane, there would, would be no distortions or illusions. Objects would not appear smaller when they are farther away or larger when close up. Everything would maintain its true size, its genuine essence. It's almost almost poetic, isn't it? A world devoid of depth, yet so rich in its own way. A world where there's no need for the third dimension to add meaning or value to existence. A world that's as straightforward as it's intriguing. This is not a world of limitations, but one appear to be without the complexity of depth. The beauty of this world lies in its simplicity, in its unadorned, raw state of existence where everything exists in harmony on a single plane. So, dear listeners, step into your imagination, close your eyes, and consider the possibilities. Feel the vastness, the simplicity, the beauty of the second dimension. Experience the unusual. Welcome to the world as we know it, this realm, this existence that we call home. It's not just a place, but a tangible dimension where we live, we breathe, and we flourish. Web of cause and effect, actions and reactions, choices and consequences. This is our physical existence, a grand spectacle of life large in every moment, in every breath we draw. Here, in this universe, we dwell. This is where our bodies shine and where our spirits soar. In this existence, every sunrise bears the promise of a new day and every sunset, the satisfaction of the day gone by. Our homes reside here, in this physical realm, in the teeming in the teeming cities, the sprawling suburbs, the quaint towns, and the tranquil villages, the blue oceans and the green forests, the open skies and the boundless horizons. Sounds a world where the senses reign supreme. We touch, we taste, we smell, we hear, we see. Each sensory experience adding our, our existence. The crunch of autumn leaves underfoot. 
the sweetness of a perfectly ripe peach, the scent of rain-soaked earth, the harmony of a symphony, the majesty of a mountain range. This is of a perfectly ripe peach, the scent of rain-soaked earth, the harmony of a symphony, the majesty of a mountain range. This is a land of infinite variety, of countless stories waiting to be told, yet a land of infinite variety, of countless stories, the tangible. It is interwoven with the emotional, the mental, love and hate, hope and despair. It's where we wrestle with thoughts, ideas and beliefs, forming our perceptions and perspectives. We find our purpose here, we find our passions, we find ourselves. This dimension is also about time, the past that shapes us, the present that engages us and the future that beckons us. Our journey through time etched in the wrinkles on our faces, the wisdom through time etched in the wrinkles on our faces, the wisdom in counts, every minute matters, every hour has its significance, every day brings its lessons, every year its milestones. And let's not forget the relationships that enrich our lives, the ties that bind us, the love that nourishes us, the friendships that, that sustain us, the conflicts that challenge us, the camaraderie that strengthens us, the memories that warm us. These relationships too are a part of this physical existence, painting our world in hues of love, respect, understanding and acceptance. Yet despite this to reality than what meets the eye, beyond our perceptions, beyond our experiences, territory of the human experience, a realm where the laws of physics give way to the laws of the spirit, where the tangible merges with the intangible, where the finite meets the infinite. What is this unseen reality, intangible, where the finite meets the infinite? What is this unseen reality? What secrets our quest for knowledge and understanding? And perhaps as we delve deeper into our physical existence, as we explore further into the unseen, we might just find the answers we seek. So let's embark on this journey together, a journey into the known and the unknown, a journey that promises to be as as fascinating as it is enlightening. A journey that takes us from the world as we know it into a world that imagine being able to move not just in space but also in time. This fantastical notion has been a cornerstone of science fiction and fantasy for centuries, capturing the imaginations of countless individuals. We dream of becoming the captains of our destinies, able to manipulate the relentless march of moments into years. How incredible would it be to bend the fabric of time, to mould it to our will? How would we use this extraordinary power? Would we revisit our past to learn from our mistakes or to take paths not taken? Would we peer into the future, catching glimpses of what's yet to come and change our present to alter that future? Glimpses of what's yet to come and change our present to alter that future. The possibilities are as endless as time itself. Time is our silent partner. It is always present, influencing every aspect of our lives. Like a ceaseless river, it flows from the past through the present and into the future, carrying us along its current. We perceive it through the changing seasons, the aging of our bodies, the progression of civilization. It is a constant reminder of our mortal existence. Yet time is also a mystery. Why does it flow in one direction from past to future and not the other way around? Why can we remember the past but not the future? Why does it seem to speed up as we grow older and slow down when we're young? These questions have puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. The concept of time as the fourth dimension adds a dynamic, adds a dynamic aspect to our reality. It is inextricably intertwined with the three spatial dimensions, length, width and height. We are not merely beings existing in a three-dimensional world, but four-dimensional creatures moving through space-time. This viewpoint offers a fresh perspective on our existence. It suggests that our perception of time as something linear and unidirectional is an illusion. Instead, all moments in time, past, present and future, could exist simultaneously. Therefore, any point in time could theoretically be accessible if we had the right tools or technology. To visualize this, imagine a film reel. Each frame on the reel represents a moment in time. When the film is played, it gives the illusion of movement and progress. However, all the frames exist simultaneously on other, other dimensions waiting to be explored. Could there be a fifth, a sixth, or even an infinite number of dimensions? What would these dimensions look like and how would they influence our reality? These are not just philosophical musings. 
Theoretical physicists have proposed theories that hint at the existence of additional dimensions. String theory, for instance, postulates the existence of up to 11 dimensions. These dimensions, however, are thought to be incredibly small and curled up, undetectable by our current technology. What if we could unfold these hidden dimensions? Would we discover new laws of physics, new forces of nature? Would we find alternate universes with different versions of our history and our future? Would we meet other versions of ourselves, living out different other versions of ourselves, living out different lives? The exploration of dimensions beyond time is not just a quest for scientific understanding. It is a journey into the very nature of existence, a search for answers to the deepest questions about our universe and ourselves. We may not have the answers yet, but the pursuit of these questions, the exploration of the unknown, ingenuity, our relentless thirst for knowledge. So imagine being able to move not just in space, but also in time. And beyond that, imagine discovering as we step beyond time, we enter the realm of theoretical physics, a realm where the ordinary rules of physics that we've grown accustomed to no longer apply, a realm where the very fabric of reality is woven with threads of the bizarre and the extraordinary. It's a place where our understanding of the universe is not only tested, but also expanded. It's a place that challenges our perception and compels us to look at everything with a renewed sense of amazement and wonder the universe, as perceived through the lens of theoretical physics, is an intricate tapestry of tiny, vibrating strings of energy. These strings, smaller than anything you can even begin to imagine, are what make up the, the fundamental particles of the universe. They are the building blocks of everything we see around us, the air we breathe, the stars in the night sky, the very thoughts that reside in our minds. These strings of energy exist in not just the three dimensions we're familiar with, but in ten dimensions. Imagine a world beyond our familiar dimensions of length, width and height. Of length, width and height. A world where the fourth dimension is time and the others are hidden to our human senses, only perceptible through the calculations and predictions of theoretical physics. With every dimension added, the complexity of the universe increases, each to the complexity of our universe. It's like peeling an onion, only to discover that with every layer, there's another layer beneath. Each layer adds depth and context to our understanding of reality, making the picture clearer and the universe more fascinating. Moving beyond the fourth dimension is like embarking on a grand voyage. It's a journey into the unknown, a journey filled with mystery and intrigue. It's a voyage that takes us beyond the filled with mystery and intrigue. It's a voyage that takes us beyond the confines of our physical reality, pushing us to explore a yet to be written and the outcomes are yet to be discovered. This journey beyond the fourth dimension is not only a testament to the complexity of the universe, but also a testament to the limitless curiosity of the human mind. It's a testament to our relentless quest for knowledge and our insatiable thirst for understanding. For understanding, it's a testament to our ability to look beyond what we can see, to question what we know, and to seek answers to questions that may not even have been asked yet. Our voyage into the realm of theoretical physics is much more than a simple exploration. It's a journey that redefines our understanding of the universe and our place within and our place within it. It's a journey that reshapes our perspective of reality and pushes the boundaries of our imagination. It's a journey that compels us to challenge our the end, however. The journey beyond the fourth dimension is not just about exploring the unknown elements of the universe. Its true essence lies in the exploration of ourselves in our ability to understand and appreciate the complexity and beauty of the universe, in our capacity to dream and imagine in our, in our relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding and in our unfathomable curiosity. The journey beyond the fourth dimension is a voyage into the unknown, a testament to the limitless curiosity